Welcome to another episode of Not For The Weak Minded. Now, I did do a video about this already. However, um, the video I did bounced from copyright. And so I'm just going to do it again by showing you the pictures instead. Because, you know, what I was trying to show you within the, 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 the small clips was that they say one thing and then they say another which contradicts itself. So here you see at the bottom, they seem to form a pattern, right? And yet you look at the the lines, and they're perfectly like this, perfectly straight. Now, if you were doing this with a chisel, how accurate do you think you got to be? I mean, it's unbelievably ridiculous to think that this was done by a chisel, right? And yet, you can see the chisel marks. No, do you see what I'm saying? So they say they seem to form a pattern which clearly shows that there is uniformity within this uh, wall which has been engineered, right? Using a machine. And the, the next time, next statement, they say you can see chisel marks. Then he's looking at it like it's some kind of mystery, like I can't explain this. Right? And essentially this whole area was a quarry now the documentary if you haven't noticed it already came from this place nhk world japan edo the city of the gods the city of water this place is amazing absolutely amazing they got floating rocks that are t you know tons and tons and tons yeah <laughs> you know it's crazy um essentially you can just see with your eyes, engineering, this, this whole place has been engineered. And yet, right, as I tried to explain in this, this is the doorway, and he's just walked in, right? This whole thing is that big. Look at the, ty look at the size of him in comparison, right? Now the cameraman is stood up here filming. And he pans up and literally can't get the whole door in the shot. He has to pan up to see it. And so this is why I had to take two shots to show you that, you know, this is very large doorway cut. Using machines, which you can clearly see from the uniformity and the patterns that it makes, not by chisels, right? Impossible. Perfectly straight lines everywhere. It's engineered. Where, you know completely engineered so all the ancient sites that had these megalithic stones where do you think they got them from you know who do you think built them and I'm not talking Giza because Giza for example is made of concrete I'm talking about ancient sites that are you know massive completely massive not saying Giza isn't, but if you look into it, Giza was to do with producing, um, how can I put it, radiation, so microwave radiation, and free energy. That's more things to come, right? Free energy deception using microwave radiation, microwave frequencies. It's exactly the same thing. But unfortunately, loads of people are going to be deceived by this. Anyway, not the topic. So essentially what you see with your, with your eyes is there is various different machines being used to cut this and that this had to have been done during a different time when the gods were here on the earth and that they created it using, well, advanced machines, right? The time of the giants. Clear as day, right? So, you know, this evidence is everywhere across the earth and it's on a large large scale within the landscape but it's also within caves within underground cities that they've they've literally gone oh that was built by the romans and etc when you can clearly see that there is engineering lines yeah you know these places have been repurposed through time which is how they can get away with calling it roman for example when clear as day you know it was built and crafted from a different time period 
when they had advanced machines. Rome didn't have these types of machines. Babylon on the other hand did. But that's a different topic entirely to do with how technologies have been used. As I've been trying to explain through two civilizations, one good and one bad. But you can see the roof is engineered, clear as day. Perfect good lines through it. Right? Proven, undoubtedly, that A, machines were used in the past to level the earth, to create mounds where they literally spoil mounds. Now the video that dropped, the last video I did about Hawaii, I'm gonna try and re-upload it because it shows you this. It shows you the evidence, it shows you the machining, it shows you the spoils from where they were digging and how they became mounds. You know, and how they just piled these just debris everywhere, you know, to create these mounds. Now these mounds are absolutely everywhere across the earth, and and you know there and this is something you go understand. Like the spoils have to go somewhere, you know, and that's what they did. They engineered these places using machines, and then created these mounds using machines. Whether that's sorry, whether that's soil or rocks, you know, this place was a quarry, absolutely, a hundred percent a quarry, built by the time of the giants, which undoubtedly shows that geological time is a lie, because well, and everything is a lie, because they must have had electricity to do this, right? And this is about the city of Edo, and this is the city of the gods, and yet. Every single nation across the earth, bar a few now, has Zionists controlling their resources, has them putting them against nation against nation, dividing each people within their society through, through economic enslavement, you know? So they do not know the truth, destroying everything that was to do with Christendom, or you know, the knowledge of but truth, right, to do with creation across the earth. You know, and they go, oh, it's so mysterious. No, it isn't. It's not mysterious at all. If you read the Bible, you would understand and use your eyes, you would understand you know, logic. You know, that science is, is logical arguments based on observation. So I observe here that there's evidence of machining and that because of the size difference between this guy and the doorway, it must have been done by some giants. Mystery solved, right? Meaning that they've lied about geological time, they've lied about ancient history, they've lied about every single core principle that governs their existence. Including, not even incorporating anything to do with the paranormal, which is to do with our souls and our energies, into any mainstream theory whatsoever, which is actually censorship of reality itself, right? So people walking around this world thinking they know it, they know nothing. Absolutely zip. They have no idea that this place is created with technological machines and that every single thing they are is relates to technologies, frequencies, and sound and water. You are a creation. This earth is created, undeniably so. In fact, in the ancient past, during the time of the giants, there was no oceans, only lakes, rivers, and seas. Which, uh, which my map proves, even though it's the wrong way round. And, and unfortunately, I'm still waiting for paper. So, I'm hoping soon. But things happen for a reason. And so, you know, I will I will do it once, this, once the paper's been delivered. Anyway, even in Japan, my point was that they show you black and white symbolisms. And obviously this might be an occult symbol to do with Freemasonry within Japan or whatever this, the secret society is called there. They use the same symbols across the earth. The duality, you know, the black and white checkers. Anyway, please share, like and subscribe.